Welcome to another All About RVs video. Today we're going to take a look at a brand new 2019. This is the Salem Cruise Light FSX series. And this is their small 180 RT model, which is a small travel trailer that's a toy hauler. Uh, it is not a full-fledged real toy hauler with the fuel stations and generators and separate garages. It's just a small little unit to take your motorcycle or maybe a golf cart with you uh, and still be able to tow it with a smaller SUV. Um, on the front of the coach you have a standard power tongue jack, single 20 pound propane tank, 2 and 5 16 hitch ball. Uh, there's room for one battery to go on the front. It has your standard uh, safety chains and seven-way Bargman plug, so the camper does have electric brakes on the axle. Nice rounded uh, front section here, so it's got a good wind aerodynamics compared to some of the flatter front models. You have a lower diamond plate here and a grayish aluminum siding. And they do have kind of a white stripe that runs down, uh, which is also aluminum. But the siding is not a metal that's going to rust. It is actually an aluminum siding on there. Uh, I get that question sometimes, you know, how, how long is it going to take before it rusts. That is an aluminum siding, not standard metal. Going around to this side here, you have a power awning, which is standard on the coach. has a built-in LED light strip. Basically just push a button in and out. There's solar hookups on the front. If you wanted to do a portable solar panel, it's right there to plug into for the uh, Furion system they uh, pre-wire it for. Nice big storage compartment area here. Uh, these little caps go on the uh, hubs to just kind of hide them, make them look a little nicer. And you have a handle for your power jack in case of failure. You can manually crank it up. And your stabilizers, which are manual stabilizers to crank down and touch the ground. Your portable water fill is right here. Then you have your six gallon gas water heater. There's some low point water drains down here. The two black panels are for the refrigerator. Uh, those are basically venting and maintenance points there. You have two outdoor speakers, a single axle unit here, and you have a single step going up into the camper. Entry door is basically a screen or entry, either one, no window in the door. Uh, has the radius top, so if it does brush against the uh, awning material, it's less likely to damage it. On the back corner, there is a vent here to basically allow for fumigation and stuff like that. Uh, again, if you're putting something in there that has gasoline in it and it shakes around going down the roads, they are required to have those vents there for that purpose, just to let things vent. Nice large door going into the back of the coach. This is a fiberglass rear door. Um, <clears throat> the door does have the spring assist on the bottom of it, so it's pretty easy to put up and down. The handle locks there are also keyed. So you're basically just little twist locks to unlock and open the door area. And it is pre-wired for a backup camera up there in the middle. You have two tail lights on the bottom here and five running lights across the top. The back corner here you can see uh, one of the stabilizer jacks there. But you also have your cable and satellite hook up there. And you have another vent on this side. Uh, gutters run down both sides of the coach. It has the nicer three inch extensions on the ends to help push the water away. Power cord pulls out above the tire there. That's roughly a 25 foot cord. Your gray and black tank dumps are right here. And one of the ways you can know which is which, they actually label the hand, they actually color code the handles gray and black. But also you can tell by diameter there. Those are roughly inch and a half pipe over here. That is the gray, and in the bigger, thicker pipe is the three inch pipe over there. That is your toilet. And your city water hookup is right there. As 
spare tire in the storage compartment here. There is no bumper to mount it on. So that is a little bit different on the toy hauler versus some of the other versions of FX, FSX models. Um, front corner here has some basic info. The gross vehicle weight of the camper, the most you can load it to, is 4,830 pounds before you possibly damage something. Now the axle itself is 4,400 pounds, and don't forget you have tongue weight. That part of that weight is on that jack right there, not just the axle, or it's on your vehicle when you're hooked to it. So all 4,800 pounds are not on the 4,400 pound axle. I always get those questions. People can't understand that sometimes. Um, tire size, ST22575 R15 D range tires, 65 PSI. Overall, nice little coach trying to keep the weight down. Um, this particular camper has a dry weight of 3,200 pounds the way it was equipped. Now, the factory, when they weigh these things, sometimes they come in a few pounds difference here or there. These are man-made vehicles. They are not machine-built, so they do not always come out weighing exactly the same, even though they really probably should. They do not. Uh, so there's always a few pound discrepancy. Sometimes that's because of options on a unit. Um, sometimes it's just because they might have, you know, the guy building it that day may have put an extra stud here or an extra five screws there or whatever. Uh, so there is a little bit of difference in weight depending on which one you happen to be looking at. But it will tell you that dry weight right here. That basically when they roll off the assembly line, the factory is supposed to weigh each unit at the end of the line. And it tells you that right there. Again, be sure to check out Couches RV Nation. They are one of the largest internet wholesale dealers in the country and will definitely save you a lot of money on a new RV. Um, looking toward the rear of the coach, you can obviously see the big black wall back there. That is your ramp door and that actually has a screen on it right now. now that screen is got a zipper in the middle so you can kind of walk in and out of it when the door is down. But that is a newer screen that has magnetic holders around the edging. So you can just take that off. It's basically just got a nice, strong magnetic thing holding it up there. So you can remove it if you want or leave it there and zip it, unzip it kind of thing. But it's a little bit nicer than the one they used on the 18 model. The table just pops out. Remove the poles there. The sofa that's there will actually flip up against the wall, get that out of your way so you can load things in and out of here. You have a larger air conditioner. This is the 13.5 BTU air conditioner, 13,500 BTUs. Um, some of the earlier versions had a little wall mount AC on the side that was basically a little 8,000. And I guess enough people didn't like that, so they actually changed it. Uh, so now this 13.5 is standard. Uh, propane uh, leak detector does come with the coach. Smoke detector. There's a fire extinguisher down there by the door. You can also see kind of what the vent looks like from inside here. There is an electric outlet on the wall over there. Another vent up there. This little area right here is basically a wheel well. Uh, they didn't want to jack the coach up real high, so there is a wheel well right there. And they're trying to keep it lower profile, easier to tow for these uh, smaller SUVs. There's little cubbies there, and then you have an electric outlet here, window that opens, little roller shade on the window. There's TV hookups up here, so right up there you've got... Uh, uh, coax fitting and your electric outlet, a backer in the wall to mount a flat screen TV. Now from this wall here to that wall there, uh, I'm sorry, this wall over here, the big wall, so from the full width of the coach, uh, you're looking at about six feet nine inches. So this uh, back section is wider, but once you get up to where that wheel well and the uh, door is there, it gets narrower. That is only about four feet nine inches wide in between there. So that's just a little bit of measurement there for you. Now all the way up to where the thermostat is there, that is about eight feet. So really you have about eight foot long and about four feet nine inches wide 
to fit like say a golf cart or something in here but if you were doing a motorcycle obviously it's a lot narrower you could go longer if you needed to up into the little area up there and just another measurement for you from this back door to that wall there is about five feet three and a half inches now back in behind this door here you have a pantry area or you can use it as a closet these little shelves can come out and you have a hanging bar there so you can do it either way the propane leak detector down there uh, D-rings in the floor thermostat for the furnace right there the furnace is actually located right down there gas electric refrigerator gas two burner stove top and you have a uh, stereo system here basically it's got a little USB hookup uh, this is the DV 3050-SB model by Furion if you want to look up the specs on their website for that um, monitor panels here basically for your water pump water heater uh, light switch uh, awning light switch, your battery and gray and black waters and stuff like that are all right there. Uh, standard small microwave for an RV. This is the High Point brand. Uh, I have had some customers aftermarket replace this with a convection microwave. Uh, so if you want to do that, you can do that aftermarket. Small bathroom area here. Basically you got a toilet and a stand-in shower area here does have a little roof vent up there, curtain and stuff to pull around. These are also LED lights in the coach and a lot of them have a little push button right in the center of the light to turn them off and on. There is a drawer here, full extending ball bearing drawer guide. Ground fault electric breaker back there. Little sink here basically a little high-rise faucet some storage down here camper queen bed um, so you've got the, this is the teddy bear mattress they call them but basically it's just a foam mattress uh, electric outlet over there some shelving up here now you can do uh, basically kind of use it as a headboard area for putting things or if you're a taller person you know it's kind of nice your feet will be able to go over that also little bit of walkway here not much but a little bit of area to stash some stuff roller shades on the window and same thing over here both of these windows open um, overhead cabinets pretty good size amount of storage area across the top of this again just a quick video on this 180 RT my name's Ray if you have any questions or would like to purchase one of these Give me a call. I'll be glad to do my best to help you out. Toll-free number 888-417-8299, my direct extension 203. Again, check us out on the web, CouchesRVNation.com, one of the largest Internet wholesale dealers in the country. Thanks for your